Why is decomposition important? Decomposition is an essential ecological process in soil. When you look at our desert ecosystem, you can see it is mostly soil. If you want to understand how a desert works, the stuff above ground is just a small part of the story. You have to consider the soil. Many of us could really appreciate the soil when we were little kids. Did you know that soil is a big reason that you're here? How does soil provide us with life? It provides a place for plants to live and also the nutrients and moisture they need to grow. Many of these plants become our food. Some of these plants, such as trees, also become our shelter. Other plants, like cotton, are used to make our clothing. Interactions between soil and plants support much of the world's wildlife. These interactions also provide us with ecosystem services, such as cleaner water and cleaner air. To better understand these large-scale processes, some soil ecologists study movement patterns of nutrients, pollutants, and matter through ecosystems. Some of the most important nutrients in soil are carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus. They are found in all of Earth's life forms, including those that depend on soil, such as microorganisms and plants. One of the important ecological processes in the soil is decomposition. Decomposition recycles carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus, so there is always a supply available for new life forms. These are the same chemical elements that you might put on your lawn and garden to make it healthy and grow faster, but they do occur naturally in soil. These nutrients cycle through food webs, and what happens in soil is especially important. Follow the arrows to see how nitrogen travels in its different forms. Processes like nitrogen fixation and denitrification occur in the soil with the help of microbial organisms like bacteria. This helps ensure that nitrogen cycles from the air to the soil through plants. Animals eat these plants and the nitrogen becomes part of their bodies. When these plants and animals decompose, the nitrogen is transferred to the soil and then it moves back again to plants or the air, cycling around and around, maintaining life on the planet. Another important elemental cycle is the carbon cycle. It helps regulate our global climate, so it has a big influence on climate change. What do you know about carbon? It is found in all living and non-living organisms. Plants use carbon dioxide gas from the atmosphere to conduct photosynthesis and make their own food. This food becomes part of the plant. Animals eat these plants and the carbon becomes part of their bodies. In the news or at school, we hear about carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas, also about carbon and fossil fuel energy sources, and about ways to measure or reduce carbon in the atmosphere, such as carbon footprints, carbon caps, and carbon capture. Carbon affects all of our lives, so it's important to understand how carbon moves through the environment. There's a lot of carbon in our atmosphere and in living plants and animals, but there's way more carbon stored in the soil as slowly decomposing organic matter. Understanding decomposition is key to understanding how carbon moves through the soil to get released back into the atmosphere. Decomposing plants are actually a very important part of the carbon cycle. To learn more about how decomposition works, continue to the next video.